And we're back with some more Super Auto Pets. And now, Rob, you're going to go with the third expansion pack, the Star Pack. Okay. Uh, be ready for some thinking. Okay. This one, this one I found pretty rough. Maybe it'll be a better fit for you. Uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, this one's very, very different. There's a lot of strawberry mechanics, a lot of buffs that are temporary, not permanent, things like that. Enables strawberry abilities? Yep, which the Kiwi has one. Yeah. But that's it so far. And you know, there's, there's just nothing like video games out there. Uh... To make us like the idea of pets fighting. Right? <laughs> What's the sand frog? Ah, <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. Yep. Oh, that could be dangerous. Uh huh. Let's see. Jovial celebrities. <laughs> I was thinking clean babies. <laughs> I thought that was too on brand. <laughs> so I have never played with. Oh my god! Uh huh. There's a pill bug. The seahorse will swap positions on the opponent. Really? Yep. Or at least that's what it used to do last time I played it. Interesting team. Oh yeah, the cockroach. Forgot about that. Set attack to current shop tier plus one. Oh, that's new. It used to be set it to two. Oh yeah, the mouse or rat or whatever. That's the... Is that the only way to get an apple? Which is... So... Unlike the other two packs, the only other way of getting permanent buffs is with is with food that kicks in only when you end a turn to start a battle. Okay. Jesus. <laughs> Womp. Oh, you reach turn three with a lost life. Okay. I'm cool with that. Oh, peaches. I forgot about the peaches. Hmm. Do it. Look at the clownfish. Nemo. Yeah, right. That's pretty good. Uh-huh, it is. I'm gonna stick you back there, friend. <laughs> hey, that's the sound a, a clownfish makes. Yeah, that... <laughs> oh, right. And as it levels up, I think it just can do it more times. Okay. Yeah, there was a while there where you, me, and my mother were kind of competing on this game, trying to get to tens. Yeah, right. It was kind of fun. It was a weird way for all of us to play a multiplayer game that isn't really truly multiplayer. <laughs> I like that iguana's perk. Yeah, you haven't had luck with a whole lot of seahorses in your enemies, though. I really don't know what strawberry abilities mean. 
<laughs> uh, right now you don't have anything with one, I don't think. Or wait, what okay. about, yeah. That's the one that you have right now. Let's see what this iguana does, because... All right. Nice. Just, just plowing through fools. All right. All right. I'm liking this pack. Okay, so we're. Right. Yep. I remember using those quite a bit. I do love cassowaries in real life. <laughs> so the, the dickhead birds from Far Cry. <laughs> oh, are they from Far Cry? Oh, they were in Far Cry Three. Okay. I believe, and you just be walking along, minding your own business, and then just wham! What was that? You turn around, just a cassowary yelling at you for from like thirty yards away. Going to the zoo bios, my two favorite animals to see are not on display it's the turkeys attacking people and then the uh oh god what are they called uh the chipmunks that are all over the place and i guess a third would have to be cassowary Oh, broccoli. So if you just mouse over that, yeah, there's two foods like this where it's uh, a double-edged sword. Give unfrozen shop pets. Huh, that'd be cool if I was doing a shop pet build. Yep. <laughs> Alright, I have three strawberry friends. Did I ever tell you about strawberry and oh, Irish? Oh, that's, a, that's a beefy boy up front. Oh no! Get up! Back to back, that beefy boy. <laughs> uh, did I ever tell you about strawberry and Irish? No. So, I was learning Irish for a little while there, and doing terribly just like every other language I have attempted. And... One of the common things you learn early on are how to say certain foods. And... One of the things that I learned was orange and orange juice, which orange is Arashta and orange juice is Su Arashta. And then I learned the word for strawberry is Su Telum. And I thought, well, that's weird. Why does strawberry start with Su if Su is juice? And one thing that I just find fascinating is I learned that the word Talun means land. So in Irish, strawberry means land juice. Huh. Yeah, right? Oh, that's a cool one. I don't remember that one. Swap attack and health of a pet. Yeah. But I wonder if that has to always be equipped or if it's just a one-time thing. Let's see. Start the battle. Deal seven damage. Jesus. Oh, yeah, the praying mantis. I forgot about that. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> I had something just the, the last turn that would have worked with that. Uh -huh. I had the anteater. Yep. What does grapes do? Uh, money. I'm going to re-roll and see if I get anything worthwhile. Ah. So I wonder if you had the panda and the praying mantis, if that panda would then take out the negative effect on your side of the praying mantis. Oh yeah, the cucumber is another example of a constant boost. Huh. See how different it is, though, to work these ones out? Yeah. Yeah, because that praying mantis with the anteater would work wonderfully. What is that? <laughs> wow. Every time, whatever has a cucumber in the front. <laughs> hey, cucumber in the front. 
Ooh, you got a dino. Ah. Oh, that's oh, like a uh, camel almost. Yeah. Well, you know. Ah. Yep. It's a really good one. Yep. Uh, I'm going to sell my iguana. We'll go to the Triceratops. Push the last enemy to the front. Yeah, I have no advice or clue or anything on this one because I played it so little for this pack. I have no idea what's around the corner. Around the corner. <laughs> Good talk. Uh oh. So close. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Huh. That's interesting. Yeah, it's it's just a whole different a different approach. Ooh, I like that. Whole different approach. Uh if you want we can run this one a little long. There is one more pets option, which is pets of the week. You gotta change your hat as well for the bullseye hat. Or the custodian helmet. Yeah, so I was just unlocking them every time I got 10. Oh, the oh, that's how that's done. Okay, that's brand new for us. Oh, these are cost monies? Yeah, it looks Act like it. Actual monies? That's interesting. That's new also. It used to be you could use points to unlock them. Oh, that's kind of neat that you can compare the two. Oh, classic and standard? Yeah. Nom, 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 <laughs> nom. <laughs> okay, so what am I doing now? So go to pets and then hit the weekly pack. And so this is a custom pack every week that they make. Okay. So, all right, we got crickets and bluebirds. In this beautiful autumn day. Certain husbands. <laughs> Aren't they all? All right, here we go. Oh no, it's a time shift. What? What? Whoa, what are those? Oh, right. Moss. Yeah, they boost up the attack of the guy in the front. Uh, blueberries. Hmm. Whoa. That's actually really powerful. Yeah. Yeah. It, Jesus Christ. <laughs> um, Let's see if it's permanent. That's what I'm curious about. Freeze the moth. Oh, I see what it is. Okay. That's interesting. Changing your mind on the ball? Oh, okay. So I'm not going for a food build. Right. I want to get this blueberry the next turn because I want to see what it does. I think it's going to draw the ability attack of the enemy to whoever you give that to. Even if it normally wouldn't be met for them. Hey, this guy's copying your team. Right? Yeah, go pop. Yay! Hey. Whoa, what? Gain plus three experience and faint before attacking. <laughs> okay. I don't understand. Game is just too much math.
games reminding me that for us, autumn is six months away. Wait a minute. Chocolate cake in Irish, I believe, is coco chocolate, if I remember correctly. And anybody who is Irish and knows how to say it, I'm positive my pronunciations are terrible. Huh. It's some tricky stuff to mm -hmm. figure out there. Mm-hmm. I want to see if that was permanent, though. Right. No, it's not. Yeah, that's unfortunate. I don't know why, but I suddenly was reminded of a pet you used to have. What's that? A goldfish that was gigantic and long-lived. And if I recall correctly, it was named Jackass. Yup. It was named Jackass for a very specific reason. Because when I first got him... When I first got him, I had to buy a certain fish flakes because he wouldn't eat certain colors of the fish flakes. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, the iguana. We did it, guys. <laughs> Way to go, team. Huh. Groundhog. Wait, what? Oh, okay. Guinea fowl is also new. There's a couple new things here. All right, I'm selling this cricket because I need to know what trumpets do. Yeah, for sure. I. Wait, is it a, a faint or? It just says you get two trumpets. Oh. Oh wow. Huh. Oh man, am I gonna have to censor this video to cover up those eggplants? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I want to see this trumpet thing now. Yeah, too. right. Tricky. <laughs> All right. Let's see what we got here. What happened? I didn't see trumpets. I don't know either. What does two trumpets mean? Wait, mess over it again? Oh, Gee. when hurt. So it has to survive that attack. Yeah. Alright, so... I saw the pug. Buy the snail. Sell the snail. Sell the snail. <laughs> yeah. An osprey. Secretary bird. <laughs> it's got a it's phone ring. ring. I heard it. I heard it. I heard the phone ring. That's great. I love it. I don't think this is going to go anywhere, but... I just want to see trumpets now. I know, right? I don't know what they are. That's what life is all about. Oh, is that a seal? It is a seal. Damn it! That did not go well at all. No. <laughs> no, it didn't. What are trumpets? Yeah, Rob, if we don't see a trumpet, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> and you don't want that. Whoa. Oh, it's just like a mosquito, but stronger. Getting ready to look up trumpets just in case we don't see it. Because I must know. I must.
And he keeps getting knocked out, so I don't know what trumpets are. <laughs> right, I'm going to the fandom page for for super auto pets. Draw. Oh, okay. What? It says when you have only one or zero pets left, but you also have trumpets left, a golden retriever is summoned to the front with attack and health equal to the number of trumpets. And this will then spend those trumpets. So it's kind of like a bee on steroids in some ways. And apparently you can do a trumpet build. So how, what do I do with the trumpets then? Like, so here's where I think we're not going to truly be able to find out. Because we're doing the weekly pack. If we were using the expansion pack, the, the fourth one, that's probably where all the trumpets are. And all the trumpet building stuff is. And since this is more of a random assortment, what is, is, what is that to the second from the left? It is a weasel, I thought so. What was your favorite pet? Did you have one? Out of everything? Yeah. Um. Or even if it's more than one, if there were some that you're like, man, that was the the best pet. Uh, for me personally, but it's it's the bat. Okay. Like, it, it's it's the bat, just because I like when you can get a good bat build and you just screw everybody's game up. Right. I'm trying to think what my favorite one would be. I'm, like, I'm trying to think what is my go-to that when I see it, I'm happy. Hmm. Not sure. I can't remember. I guess that's the problem from not having played this in a long time. Man, I feel like you have a completely different team than the one you started with. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Okay. I see what you've got going on. Are you wondering if that should be behind the other one? Because that's what I'm wondering. Oh, they're both two friends, Faith. Yeah, I guess we never thought of things in the terms of a fainting build before. Right. No, I should have given... I didn't really have much, much for sacrifice. I'm just curious. Yeah. This is all experimentation. <gasps> Trumpets! Oh my god. Rob, he's gonna get you with his frickin'... Wait, did their thing not happen? No, it did. What was their thing? It did, but it didn't work the way I would have hoped. Okay. Um... So the chocolate cake one, I bet you the chocolate cake would be good for like uh Oh nice. Perfect. The chocolate cake would be good for like a anything using a flamingo right. or something that would yield more if it faints, because that gives three experience. The cake. Right. It gives more experience. So if you have things that give more experience like that on something that well, after it's fainted in battle it buffs the other things or I wonder also if um, you can use that because as soon as it takes the item it's fainted. Gotcha. So boosting it to what it was and then fainting then it would give you just a higher uh, potency on whatever you have left. Gotcha. Okay. Well, that'll leave it here for Bud Suds and Duds. I think I have to plan better for when a dud is an absolute dud and have another, you know, 
one that fits right. the mold of the show behind it, ready to go. So well, that's a lesson learned. Yeah, because we didn't expect that other one to be such a dud. Right, exactly. Not just gameplay wise, but like performance and it kept freezing. Exactly, yeah. So like we can't, like I'm not even going to try and give Ansem Master a score just because I felt like we couldn't get enough time with it. Right, right. So uh, thanks for joining us, guys. We'll see you next time. Thank you.